All right, we're recording. Okay, I'm going to call the uh, meeting of the Amherst Finance Committee to order at 10.02 a.m. Um, this meeting is conducted remotely, so I want to go around the, um, the folks who are present, the quorum that is present, and make sure that you can hear me and I can hear you. Uh, Bernie? Present. Uh, Councillor Haneke? Present. Andy? Present. Okay, that's the full group of people that we have. Um, I just wanted to do two things today. One is to have an initial discussion on the additional uh, appropriation for the uh, pumper truck, because we're going to have a public hearing on the 20th uh, to go over this. Uh, and then Lynn wants us to try to meet as a, uh, as a finance committee after the public hearing and uh, vote on this if we can. Um, there's, a, there's a bit of a time crunch on this. Um, if that doesn't work, the, the only other option we have is we do have a, a, a meeting scheduled on the 21st. Uh, we, could, we could vote then, but Lynn would like us to vote on the, on the evening of the 20th. So if you can mark your calendars for that, uh, that would be great. Um, Councilor Haneke? Yeah, um, I know this is my first year on finance, but in the past, hasn't finance taken sort of a preliminary vote pending the public, the required public forum? And then after the public forum sort of said, does anyone feel a need to revisit that vote? Could we do it that way, maybe? Yeah, that's actually what I was raising my hand to say, too. Okay. So why don't we have a, if there's any discussion of this, um, we can um, we can discuss it now. Does anyone have any questions about it? Okay, well, I guess then uh, we'll need a motion to, to, uh, to at least tentatively approve uh, the, uh, the additional appropriation. I'll recommend. Recommend, excuse me. Thanks. Um, I'll make a motion. I move to recommend pending the required public forum, the supplemental appropriation request FY24 05D fire department bumper truck. Second. Okay, we've got a motion and second. Any uh, further discussion? Okay, uh, I'll start off. I vote aye. Bernie? Support. Uh, Councilor Haneke? Aye. Andy? Aye. All right, that's everyone present. Um, it's unanimous, three counselors in favor, um, one resident member in favor, and two counselors absent, one uh, resident member absent. So, okay, we'll just revisit this on the 20th. Um, Uh, I just wondered if there's any uh, public comment. Uh, the only one in the audience is Lynn. <laughs> Lynn, you're welcome to comment. <laughs> um, oh, no, there's another attendee. Uh, there's uh, two members of the public are present. Uh, if the um, if you want to uh, issue a uh, if you want to make a public comment, please raise your hand and we'll bring you into the meeting so you can uh, offer up your comment. Okay, I don't see any hands, so we'll close the public comment period. Um, the only other thing I wanted to talk about was the review of the town budget. <clears throat> um, I sent around a spreadsheet where um, with the help of, of Councilor Haneke and Kathy, we kind of grouped together uh, like uh, departments, if you will, um, and put them against the, um, <clears throat> the uh, town manager goals. Um, uh, 
Athena, can I share my screen? Do you that. can if if uh, it's easier for me too. I have it. Okay. Do you have it? Yeah. I can... do have it open. Okay. If you can put that up there, just sure. to, so so to kind of uh, so the the public can see it and and so um, we can just have a quick talk about it. So um, the 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 rows going down are the town manager goals and the ones that are highlighted in yellow were the goals that the town council considered the sub goals the town council considered most important in uh, here uh, a meeting we had several weeks ago um, <clears throat> the columns are the different uh, departments uh, the budgets um, of the different departments or the different aspects of the budget um, <clears throat> and at the very top, I have a tentative plan for when we would review each of these. Um, obviously, we may have to switch that around because it, it depends on the, the availability of the department heads uh, to attend, but that, at, least, at least leave that as the, the, the tentative schedule. Um, the town manager will not give us the budget officially until the, the 6th, and we have a meeting scheduled for the 7th, but I thought that would be too quick for us to actually um, review, start the review. So we'll start it on the Friday of the, uh, Friday the 10th, a week from today. Um, I think that makes some sense. So what, what I would like uh, individuals on the committee to do is to uh, volunteer for one of the uh, the groupings that I have. Um, Bernie has already indicated that he would like to do the DPW, Public Works and Enter Enterprise Funds. Um, I'm open to, to anyone uh, choosing something else. Also, just so you know, the grayed out uh, uh, departments, we felt that they're um, pretty straightforward in terms of budget. Um, so the um, department heads did not need to show up to the meeting. Um, and so we thought that, you know, it would streamline the, the, the review of the budget, not to have to drag everybody into the, into, um, you know, they're, they're of course welcome to, to show up, but they're not required to. Um, so uh, I don't know if there's any discussion of this. Any thoughts? Well, uh, I said I thought it was an interesting approach. Um, Paul addresses some of this in the current budget document that we all got on the 1st of May. Um, so it'd be interesting to compare his take with this. I I think that the, the challenge I have with this is it doesn't really, it has uh, performance indicators for the town manager, but it doesn't have uh, uh, we don't have performance indicators or a way of critiquing the adequacy of the budget given the functions the department has to perform over and above, uh, or sometimes in conflict with um, the town manager goals. Uh, you know, so looking at uh, um, uh, you know the, the the first category meets finance uh, financial guidelines. I think that that's probably an easy one. Looking at some of the others, um, it, it's going to be difficult to. Uh, um, it may be it, it may be it may be difficult to to match the town manager goals with what's in the budget, but none of this speaks to performance indicators on the part of these departments. Um, and, and again, I mean, like taking public works, everybody talks about potholes. Um, in, in road repairs. Um, my own feeling is, is that the climate lens piece really does apply to DPW. Um, uh, and we'll probably uh, as much as any other department, um, but there's no, beyond that, there's no way of evaluating uh, how effective the budget will be in, in allowing repair of, of roads, sidewalks, uh, acquisition of equipment, so on and so on. So, uh, you know, it's, it, 
I, like I said, I'm perfectly willing to go along with this this plan, but I think there's um, I'd be um, inclined to inject some uh, performance recommendations into the any into any report. Um, point of order, Bob, can we just quickly confirm that Matt and Kathy can hear and be heard? They've joined us. Okay. Yeah, I was going to do that. Matt, can you hear us? I can, and I can hear you, or, and I hope you can hear me. Thanks. Oh, we can hear you. Kathy? Yeah, and I apologize for being late. I was reading the budget, which was so <laughs> absorbing that I couldn't tear myself away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, do did, 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 did both of you hear Bernie's comments? Okay, great. Um, Councillor Haneke? Um, a couple things that are not a, a little disjointed. Number one, I had a question about the the schedule of particularly the May 21st meeting. Um, are we having our public hearing on the budget on May 21st? And if so, are we planning on still doing a 2 p.m. meeting and then a hearing at whatever time the hearing is set for? Um, that concerns me, but um, I just wanted to put out there, like, I, I'm, I'm willing to do it, I can do it, but I wanted to make sure that the committee was okay with that. So we can talk about that later, but I wanted to bring that up in terms of meeting schedule. Uh, meeting schedule two on the 7th. Um, I wonder if it would be possible to start this review on the 7th. I know we already all have the budget. I know the presentation's not till the 6th, but if we know what we're doing on the 7th, we might be able to move some to the seventh. Um, I was thinking particularly the capital improvement plan maybe because I know Kathy's already, and Bob, I think you guys are already sort of well into what that one's got having served on JCPC that maybe we could do that one on the seventh um, and maybe something else, potentially even schools or library or you know, I'm just rethinking like, could we move some stuff to the seventh to maybe get the 21st meeting out there out of it so that we can do just the hearing on the 21st um to what bernie said you know in having started to read the budget in the budget document um yeah it i think it would look like a completely different review i think it's worth trying but the guidelines part I went through the guidelines yesterday for both the CIP and the, you know, so for the capital side and the sort of the budget side and came up with at least on the budget side, like 15 different things we could check the budget for, some of which um, go, I think, more into individual department questions than overall budget guidelines. Um, you know, as Bernie said, some of it's easy. Does it meet our 3% or 4% or equal increase guideline? But, you know, um, some of the guidelines are things like support expense reduction strategies and initiatives, including responsible reassignment of costs outside the general fund, um, regionalization, reorganization, add efficiencies, right? So we could, that's hard to see in a budget, but that could be the basis of some questions for the individual departments of, how does this budget support that guideline? Um, so I don't also then know necessarily whether now that I look at the budget and all of this, whether a specific meeting on does the overall budget meet the financial guidelines versus teasing out these parts of the guidelines and making sure we ask those questions of the departments and saying, how does this budget meet that part of the guideline um, might make more sense. Andy? Uh, you're mute, Andy. Building on uh, what Mandy just uh, started with, I do think that there's a lot we can do on the 7th because we have seen the budget already. And it's worth, uh, we usually have started by um, having the overarching discussion of the budget um, as a first, during a first meeting. And uh, um, any sort of overall impressions, but the other is uh, the revenue side. Um, I think we uh, need to have reserved some opportunity to talk about that and 
that usually can come up in a first meeting. Um, I think that my second observation about the the schedule um, is that uh, I'm not sure that putting the schools and library off, particularly the schools, until very late in the process is the best idea because um, first of all, it's the largest expense, school education is the largest expenditure of the town. It's the greatest proportion of the budget and it has the highest anxiety level that uh, has uh, sort of surfaced in the discussion this year and has future implications. Um, and I, uh, if we put it off towards the end, we lose the opportunity to come back to it a second time if there are questions raised that need um, follow-up information provided or um, follow-up action needed before we can actually uh, make a recommendation on it. So I, I would uh, very much uh, encourage us to think about moving the um, um, schools up earlier um, and I think we do have to recognize that on May 11th is the Pelham Town meeting, so that um, by the time we get to our meeting on the 14th, we may be in a position where if Pelham also votes to adopt the 6% uh, budget recommended by the Regional School Committee, um, that is going to be the budget. And we're then into the question of not uh, just what our view is on it, but how we're going to pay for it, um, because there's a gap that's between what has been presented by the town manager, and he acknowledges that, that, uh, you know, it's got to be paid for if it's, uh, if that ends up being the budget. So I think those are... Uh, my major thoughts initially. Thanks. Kathy? Yeah, I, I'm just gathering my thoughts, trying to build on what was just said. Um, and I was opening a calendar calendar. Um, so I definitely think on May 7th, we should pick something in addition to general, something substantive, I think the capital improvement plan makes sense and the library budget might be the other other one with um, a limit on the amount of time spent on it, you know, and one of the things I'd like to focus on, uh, Andy mentioned revenues, it's sort of um, in that mix. I can find what our reserve funds are sort of um, when I look for them, but just talking about what we have in reserves in connection with the capital improvement plan, we, we don't yet have, even though we're not, we're, we're at a third quarter plus in terms of this fiscal year. So we should be starting to know whether we're going to have an excess this year you know, it, by the end of June, you know, just, you know, the projection of what, that's a blank when you look down the budget column on, on what are we generating? And I think Andy's right. I didn't see, as you know, I missed the beginning of your discussion. I don't know whether we saw a potential when we're talking to which departments, but I thought schools on May 14th makes a lot of sense, um, you know, with regional first and elementary second. Um, and and on the tenth, um, picking something meaty, um, public safety, for example, you know something that would would naturally go together. So we would have gotten where, where Andy was focused on. We would have gotten big chunks of the budget done by the fourteenth of May. Um, so so those are just thoughts on this overlay, um, Bob. I I didn't send in notes because I didn't think a lot about it when you first sent it in, you know, the, the town manager. I'm not sure it's helpful other than keeping it in mind when we're going over the, the different departments, um, you know, as a focus, because, you know, asking a questions about staffing and challenges ahead, um, 
will be a big thing. So keeping it in mind. And then Mandy, I thought it was helpful thinking about efficiencies. You know, I mean, what are we doing? So I noticed, for example, the rental registration program is in as an increase of expenditures. And in the text, it says fees will offset that. But I don't know how to find those two things. So, so when we go through the general government structure, I'd like to be able to understand where I can see where a grant is offsetting expenditures, a fee is offsetting it. So it's, it's in there and it's blended in. So I'd, I'd like to make sure we allow plenty of time for the things we need to have longer discussions on. You know, um, so th those are my two overarching comments, you know, getting more quickly into the budget on May 7th and something meaty on the 10th and the schools by the 14th. Uh, Bernie? <clears throat> Yeah, I uh, would just voice my agreement with accelerating the proposal to move the schools and the library up uh, in the 14th. It does seem to be a, a good date to do that. I'd also concur that if we can do something substantial on the 10th, not that looking at the overall budget and capital improvements plan is substantial, but uh, maybe something more directed would be helpful. Uh, the other thing I would say is I, I know Councillor Haneke to be a... a uh, a, a very careful uh, reader, and uh, uh, I would ask that she share her notes on the uh, on the guidelines in those areas that she's highlighted, because I think it would be helpful for certainly for myself, and maybe for everybody else as we go through the budget to to focus on that stuff. Uh, <clears throat> Councilor Haneke. So I'm happy to, I, I literally just went through the guidelines and pulled out sentences and put them into bullet points <laughs> that could then potentially be checked off. But I'm happy to create a document that has that both as I thought things related to capital and, and then sort of the operating general government side. Um, this conversation's great. Um, so looking, if we do something more substantial on the 7th, like capital improvement library revenues, I'm wondering if the 10th, could you you can delete capital improvement from the 10th potentially then um overall budget if it really is does this meet the guidelines you know as in my start of review of the budget i think that some of that is obvious but i think that question comes through with each of the department sections does this department meet the guidelines does this you know, as as we start forming those questions. So I'm not sure the 10th needs a specific discussion on it versus when we get to the final vote, uh, an acknowledgement of, you know, after we've done everything, yes, it meets the guidelines or no, it doesn't, right? So so it in some sense, we might be able to free up the 10th to, I'm thinking move the manager section to the 10th and I'm hesitant to hold the school conversation until after the 11th with Pelham, I'd kind of like to start some of that. We've already started some of it, right? Um, could we put a, if we've got the manager on the 10th and the manager is there, could we start talking about some options for the schools on the 10th, given we all know the budget that the manager presented is not what the school committee has voted um, could we start those discussions about what are our options on the 10th I, I, and, and get more clarification for us on what happens if Pelham does or does not vote a 6% budget, right? Uh, but could we potentially save some time on the 10th for that? And then as well as the manager section that's set for the 14th and then go back to the schools on the 14th. I think it's imperative we have the school discussion before the public forum, the public hearing on the 21st, uh, instead of after. We might have to revisit it after, but I think the public should know what some options are before we get to that hearing. Kathy? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, thank you for, I guess it was Athena changing codes. I had neglected to see that way up at top were the dates of the meetings <laughs> on and that, like what are we what are we talking about here? But on the 10th, um, if possible, the regional school 
discussion would be great, but I know uh, behind the scenes, it's um, both trying trying to figure out what if we go to six percent, how do we do it? But uh, what I heard um, from a recent meeting of the schools that it's turning out that the field and track is not going to cost what they thought it was going to cost. Um, and they've got new estimates coming in. And it might mean that there's excess funds on what we've allocated to the track that could be reallocated to a one-time budget thing. So what I don't know, Mandy, is whether someone will have thought through those interactions by the 10th. You know, so it's not that I know there will be, but, you know, we had said there might be ARPA money, there might be this, but to make sure we have a full discussion on it, I would want to make sure that that discussion had happened. And it's partly the school committee has to make some decisions. Um, so, uh, so moving, so the, by the 14th, I'm assuming that has to be done. And that's why I thought the school shouldn't be any later than the 14th. Um, and, and just on the 10th, town clerk elections, DEI, these are the ones that I think are shorter discussions. They could all be moved to the 10th if we don't have something substantive on the 10th. I would just move them all there. <laughs> um, you know, and then instead of it saying town manager, it might be schools up at top and then public safety on the 17th. You know, I, you know whatever, however this gets moved around. So schools both sets. So I was just trying to move schools up enough so that if we have to come back to it, and it also has the advantage of it's before the hearings, you know, so that we've, we're, we're focused on it with the hearing being on the 21st. So I, I haven't gone all the way over on the calendar, but trying to get the big ones done. Um, you know, so, so Bob, there, there are lots of, and Athena, there are lots of, if I think of the 10th as get a lot of small ones in there, there are quite a few on the 28th smaller, you know, in terms of a person, one or two people, small budgets. Um, so there's a cluster of them on the 28th. So, so I know this is reworking things and the library being clustered with the schools on the 31st doesn't make sense to me. The library is a somewhat straightforward. Um, they have to live within our guidelines. So that's why I would move what well, we've already done, move all the library to the seventh. And so I definitely think the two schools, the two schools are probably a solid hour, uh, a solid full time. Um, so that's just a, a thinking through this. And then I don't know whether what moves to the 31st. So as, as we move things around. Well, if we skip the 21st uh, per Councilor Haneke's suggestions, then we would be pushing everything back a meeting, basically. We could put, we could just flip DPW to the end, but that's a pretty big one. That's a big one, yeah. Mm -hmm. You could flip the, um, no. the things that are on the 28th, conservation planning and inspection. You, you know, I mean, just there's there's some, you know, everyone can chime in on which one should yeah. flip. I, yeah, I mean, I would just move everything that's scheduled for the 28th, the big set of assistant town manager and service departments to the 31st. Mm -hmm. um, put DPW on the 28th. Mm-hmm. The schools, what what was the thirty first? The schools, as Athena has done, has moved to the fourteenth, and everything that was the fourteenth, I'd put facilities, move that sort of to the tenth too, so that the tenth is the manager. We've got the manager. We can talk about overall budget. Anything that bleeds over from the seventh continues on the tenth with him and his budget, and the departments that sort of he's he's sort of in his overall department if we're looking at big things right um as we've grouped these something like this yeah yeah i thought i thought we could do the what's now on the 28th i guess i i think or maybe it's the 31st um yeah it's the 31st i think we could do all of those 
the, the service departments and the assistant town manager departments, that, that's all in one. I think they're all sort of small, short discussions. So I think the, the, the 31st, Athena, or we could do the service departments and the assistant town manager. Oh, all of these on the yeah, they, yeah. Were all, they were all for one meeting. Um, it wasn't, I didn't make that very clear, but I, we can probably just merge that one. Yeah, the I'll, I'll, one, so. I'll, I'll clean this up after. Yeah. And and the 21st is still scheduled for the public hearing. So it's it's sort of like we don't have a separate regular meeting, right? Right. But we're still meeting. <laughs> we just don't have right. two. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'll make a note that it, there's. Yeah, it's, I think it's the 2 p.m. meeting that we're trying to get rid of that day. Yeah, right. I understand. Um, I, I was trying to move things around as as you were talking. Um, did I miss anything? I These will be merged. I think it. I think you did it pretty. You did it amazingly well. Not pretty well, but but um, yeah. And and you know when you. Of course, you want to talk with Paul if there's anything else that he thinks naturally fit into the tent. You know, it, it's just if he thinks it's too scrunched at the end. I mean, that's the town manager's uh, not as many people in a department kind of thing and not clustered. You know, the capital improvement plan um, coming on the 7th is where uh, we when people fo get to focus on it with Bernie's comment on the potholes, what everyone's going to see is we're dropping back down on cash for roads out of our own budget. Um, and we don't have the big excess ARPA money and we didn't get a big bump in chapter 90, you know, so there's a set and, 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 so it's, it's whatever, people think of our road fund for the last few years, it's been robust compared to what it's going to be. So so that may be one of the things people want to talk about as well as what else they do or don't see in the in in the list of projects um, for the coming years. Andy? I was gonna suggest uh, I take a different view on the 21st. If we need to meet, we should have two meetings. Uh, I would leave it blank, but not take it off the schedule entirely, just in case we decide that we're needing addition, an additional meeting, we have a space for it. But the, uh, we acknowledge that it's a tentative. So I would suggest putting something like that in. The other thing that I was trying to struggle with is that um, the sustainability, there was uh, something that Paul said in, uh, when I was doing my first read through about creating um, sort of a more of a department for sustainability. And uh, so then you get to the questions of what is the cost of that and what is you know the funding requirements that would go with it? How is it going to be structured? And also, um, as we know from this morning's newspaper, um, how the bike share program fits in and how that's going to be paid for. Uh, so there, there, there are pieces in there. And uh, so, when we talk about planning inspections with the new um, part, you know, the, the, the statute or uh, the bylaw that we uh, uh, passed uh, for inspections and uh, there's a lot in there that may be a fairly substantial discussion. I would be uh, hesitant to put too much uh in on the same day that we're dealing with uh leave leave uh making sure that we have enough time for it i guess is what i'm trying to say so andy are you suggesting that 
sustainability and conservation could potentially move to the 21st if we if we decide it's too much yeah though we are going to have to make that decision before fairly early because uh if you put something before yeah usually, I, I'm just, I'm just saying, usually you put your additional meeting that you may yeah no i i'm saying cancel okay. to the end not the, not in the middle yeah, so that if we don't give up that meeting, because I'm just looking, there's no, there's no easy place to move. It it goes naturally with conservation a little bit, um, but Paul, we could talk about it on the tenth. You know, since it's in his write up on a, it's a one person department right now. What does he have in mind in terms of, of a fuller department? So, you know, pull. I I don't know. It's a long list, as you noticed, for the yeah. 31st. So if we try to take something out, we should probably take a couple things out. And then the only place to put it is either move it all the way to the 10th or not cancel the 21st meeting. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying we don't have to. Man, as Mandy said, we if we thought we were meeting for an hour on two focus things and had a hearing, I'm okay with, it. I mean, these are all blocked out on my calendar, so I'm okay with it. Um, if we need to have a discussion on how, how would we do that given how tight the budget is? Um, so it, it's just a thought of moving. I mean, I, I think those sustainable and conservation go nicely to get maybe sustainability conservation planning go nicely together and could be done in an hour you know or not a full two hours potentially <laughs> yeah and, and you know just if we tell people we want to have a focus things on it's but they all particularly planning is um is experiencing loss of senior people um and having to to replenish its staffing. So, and then sustainability has no staffing. It has, it's a one person, you know, so we, we're in a staffing world. So I'm not, I'm mainly thinking of not moving one, but moving two, and I don't know which two. So. Athena, did you wanna? So Mandy, you were the one who suggested eliminating it, but we may need it if we're if we've got too many small departments where at least one or two of them has has a substantive discussion. Um, um, Bob, please take Mandy first because I had a different okay. comment. <laughs> I was gonna let Athena go first, but <laughs> I, I I was gonna respond to this. So I'm I'm fine meeting on the twenty first. It was just like. I didn't know what the committee thought of having a two hour meeting and then a public hearing. And, I, you know, it might be wise to break up the service departments and then the assistant town manager departments into two shorter meetings. Um, it's possible that if we break them up into two shorter meetings and put one of them on the 21st expecting, you know, I would probably move the service departments to that one because I think that one can actually be known to be shorter. Um, potentially, whereas the assistant town manager set might get a little longer. I would keep sustainability with the assistant town manager set because the budget itself has sustainability under the assistant town manager conservation and, and planning department. So that that grouping, it goes with that grouping um, yeah. of Dave Zomek's sort of alley. Um, we could then potentially tentatively schedule a vote for the 31st you know <laughs> depending on how things are going right it would give it would give people more time to write the report um you know that doesn't mean you have to take the vote on the 31st but it it's potentially to to put it out i'm just putting another thing out there of well maybe we could have a vote on the 31st um or think about the possibility of one depending on how things are going um so an, another thought there, um, mm -hmm. I, yeah. Athena has her hand up. Yeah. Athena, did you want to comment? Um, yeah, thank you. I, I just wanted to mention um, May 7 is Tuesday. And I know that 
every department head and staff member that you would like to attend will do their very best to attend, but it's a little bit short notice for the library. So if I, if I need to move library to another day, is there a preferred day or is the committee okay with um, fitting that in where we can and I can work with Bob? I just wanted to check that there are no strong objections if, if we can't do that that day um, to putting it potentially on the 10th or maybe with service. I would say the 10th or even potentially the service department day that we expect to be short to. Now that I just added something to that day, but that would be my initial thoughts. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. You know, and and Mandy, you're suggesting that if the 31st, if having whatever is on the 31st, if it ends up being shorter, if we're not at write the report, we might be at vote and three or four key messages that we want to include in the report, you know, of, um, you know, it's not just a yes, great, but <laughs> here are the things. And then it would make it easy to draft a report that then could be circulated to us. Um, so it's just a way of thinking of use. JCPC went fairly smoothly this year because along the way we had some, this should be in the report. This should be, you know, kind of, this is something to flag. Um, it went e easy as the person who had to write the first draft of it. It made it easy to capture some things as, I, as we went along. And, and, and Athena on the library, I, I know Sharon usually prepares an elaborate presentation with lots of pictures and stuff. If, if she would just come in with a, this is the staffing, you know, and how we're going to pay for it. And, um, and then, you know, open it up with some key issues or something, but not, um, not do, she usually takes at least a half an hour is what I would say. I don't think we need, that. I think we may need to spend 20 minutes or so, but it would be better to get something briefer. So if she doesn't have to prepare as an elaborate one, maybe, but in any case, moving it would be fine. So, um, thanks for mentioning that, Kathy. I'm sorry, Bob, if I may. Yeah, go ahead. I'm here. Um, it would be very helpful to have questions from committee members and um, share the expectation that departments aren't going to make a presentation, but really speak to the questions the committee has, unless you're expecting a presentation and how long you'd like departments to speak about what they're doing. So if I can get a sense of the expectation there, then I can share that with department heads so they're prepared for the meeting and they're not putting together slides that, that you don't want. <laughs> But, you know, for places like the library, Athena, we usually don't see the detail of the budget in the town manager's budget. We see library, you know, so she she has to come in and talk about um, staffing. And, you know, so I'm certainly by the seventh, I, you know, it's it's. I haven't been attending the library meetings to know how tight their budget is or not, you know, and, and they depend on some grant fundraising that the friends do for them to fill in whole uh, fill in pieces. So Mandy, yeah, for the others, I think we can definitely do some in advance because we have a budget book to look at. <laughs> Harder for the schools. Um, so you're asking, you're saying that um, you'll have questions in advance for the other departments and for library, you'd like an overview of staffing and fundraising? Well, it's it's in her budget. You know, she's she. Yeah, I'm I'm not being very clear. The actual yeah. library budget has a piece of funding that comes from the town that's held to no more than four percent, and they always honor that. Then their actual expenses are higher, so they do um, they supplement it with uh, the Friends of the Jones. There's some right. state grant, and then it's it's tight for them, and so it's there's been a question of how they how they staff you know, how can you, they meet that staffing? So I just meant that we often get a larger presentation of the programs and everything else they're running. It's, it's, uh, it's, you, if you look at her past presentation there. I remember. Yeah. A lot goes into them. Yeah. 
I'll stop. So, so what would you like from Sharon? I'd like her to, she can prepare anything she wants, but she should plan on talking mainly about the, it, everyone else should join in on the revenues and expenses side, the budget side, where it's the finance committee. You know, it's, um, we're all, we're, so um, that, that, that would be it. Um, and a shorter presentation. Yeah. And as, assume that if we can get that, I mean, if we don't get it before, we're going to be, if we get it the day of the meeting, we're gonna, we're not going to have time to say who, how, how does this work? So my hand is up because of library. So I just see, you know, yeah. that. Yeah. So I'll, I will stop on this. So it may be that I'm press, we're pressing it to think of the seventh. Yeah. Right. And, and then um, I know we're still talking about library, but it would be helpful to know if the same expectation is for other departments, if you're looking for a very brief presentation or if you want to just launch launch into questions, it would help to help be helpful to get a sense of that. The, the other thing I was going to say about library, and I just probably need to get it out, is that uh, we have, we know that there's another major decision that has to be made regarding the library. We don't have the information yet. Paul is working to develop it, what to do about the uh, unexpectedly large uh, bid that came in from the one construction company that submitted a proposal. So there's a lot of uncertainty with the library project that hasn't been resolved and is a separate process from the budget, but it will affect library operations during the year that we're adopting a budget for. And for that reason, it may make sense to put the let, let the library go later when yeah. they have a better sense of the uh mm. their capital project and then can actually talk about how the capital project relates to the operating budget which is what we're considering i think that makes total sense i re i completely pull out my idea that it should go on the seventh <laughs> okay well, councillor haneke um uh, yeah i i second what andy said about that that given our uncertainties, we're going to get a presentation or an update on the 6th about the library bidding and all of that. And so maybe putting the library on the 21st with the service departments makes the most sense. Um, um, or the 10th, if we can get something in there, right? <laughs> uh, in terms of what, what Athena was asking, I would say for all departments outside of schools and libraries, no presentation the manager will take care of it at the council meeting and we can just get our questions in we need to know our the deadlines for questions cuz cuz these dates are great but i presume we need our our calendar sort of is like 4 days earlier or something for each of these so so we should discuss that but i i would say no specific presentations from department heads their presentation could be answering the questions we submitted but nothing beyond that um, the schools in a, in the past have sometimes done a presentation. We had one for the, the, um, the regional school already that was like five slides, but really focused on, as Kathy was saying, the, the revenue and expense chart, sort of one of those basic charts that is, here's the library revenue, you know, the, for the schools, it's here's the school's revenue, here's the school's expenses on their their large number lines. And then here are the staffing numbers or the enrollment numbers, just like one or two charts that give us that for the library is sort of what I'm thinking would be sufficient. Um, you know, not, we can obviously go find just like we can with the schools, the, the line item budget, but we're not really line item people in this finance. We're the bottom line and knowing those those bigger categories of this is personnel, this is this, where are the revenues coming from? What is the town's, you know, how does the town's revenue work into all the revenues for the library? And then, you know, if, if you think about the budget book that we get for the town, you know, some of those key concerns, you know, if you look at whatever department, one of those pages, Athena, that says, you know, here's the personnel lines, here's kind of a mirror of of that page if possible you know for say the town clerk's office has a page the 
the facilities department has a page, something that mirrors that, but as a library as a whole might, I, I think would be useful, but only like one or two pages. Bernie? Yeah, just to concur with the discussion about the library, I think uh, <clears throat> getting a couple of charts that show revenue and expenses, focusing on that would be very helpful. The big question will be the endowment because uh, the endowment was a linchpin for the construction project. And um, uh, it's also a key part of the library's ongoing funding. Yeah. Uh, they think four or five percent every year to uh, add to their uh, add to their budget. So if they're uh, uh, how they're going to manage, if they can manage the uh, the difference in cost in, in the building construction um, will be an issue. So focusing on revenue and expense, um, and uh, would would be helpful. Yeah, and and Bernie's point about the endowment, it's one of the revenue sources. So it's it's unique in that there there's a revenue and there's in there's a draw on it. And that's always been part of the presentation, not always telling us what the the endowment is, but they tell us what the draw is, you know, that they're holding it to X percent. So um, you know, we Athena, what we've done in the last couple of years so as mandy said us getting our ducks in order is if we if we take a topic um as we divide it up among the finance committee we've been trying to get our questions into the chair and it used to be to sean who would make sure the departments had them and then we worked off responses to the questions or lead off um, and we tried to get them to people enough in advance like two days before they were they were on so that they could formulate responses so sometimes they were pure questions sometimes they were asked requests for additional information Yeah, we, we we need to get moving on that. <laughs> so, so that would be capital questions need to come in today. Yeah. Like probably by three. And and the capital questions are going to go to Paul, correct? I mean, we, you know, Sandy Pooler is there as well. Okay. Um, I'm 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 going to ask I'm going to ask that um, members share their questions with um, me and Bob, and I'll coordinate with um, with the rest of our finance team to make sure um, they get to the right people and um, and we have answers. No, no I wasn't going to bypass you. I was just thinking who will answer who who is the recipient. Once you and Bob get the questions, and then in capital will be it'll be Paul and or Sandy. So. Right. So, well, I was chair of the committee. I do, I could send some questions in. It would be an odd thing to do, but I could. Um, I'd so be happy. I wasn't on the committee, but I reviewed Capitol yesterday. So I probably have a, I can probably clean up a set of questions. Okay. So Mandy's or, taking, so Matt, Mandy's taking. You want capital. me to take Capitol, having not been on JCPC, if it seems a little weird to have the JCPC people heading that. I can certainly head up capital. And and thinking by three today, um, revenues, I'm thinking of, I might be able to do revenues. I'm going to, no one else wants it. I'm going to volunteer for schools um, just to force myself to pay it, to pay some attention to what each, sector is doing and if if i don't take schools i'll take i don't i don't know what else you want to hear but on revenues you know i i continue to have some questions about how we show where we're financing things we're doing with grants and so it's one time and i i think if i go all the way through the budget book i can kind of find it but i don't always know how to find it you know, where we're able to do something and it's expense, but it's because we brought not the regular chapter 90 or chapter 70 money, but um, the Stephanie bringing in money or DPW and the planning department bringing in a large amount of money. Um, 
So Andy, you brought up revenue. So I don't know whether you had specific thoughts on questions on revenues. Uh, there are a couple of things that I had thought about, but ultimately it's a question of also that's where you start projecting into future years and what the possibilities are, because I think we pretty well are set in knowing what our revenue projections are for this year and where, what we know and what we don't know. Right. We don't know what the final bu state budget is going to be, obviously, is a, is a big one. There are local revenues that have variability to it because they're factors like uh, uh, motor vehicle excise. Well, there's also new growth where we always hold it flat because we don't know what it'll yield. But meanwhile, we do know what's in the pipeline. You know, I mean, we're we're being correctly conservative on it. I, I have no doubt. But it's the adjusted real growth number is always considerably more than the penciled in real growth estimate. So I, I think we're formulating some questions. So, I mean, I can send a couple of questions in and Paul can just know we want to, we may want to talk about revenues. So um, we need some more uh, <laughs> volunteers to, uh, to kind of lead different sections. So Kathy, you, you're willing I'm to- I'm volunteering for school. I've never done, I've done uh, DPW and I've never done schools. So I am volunteering for schools. Matt? Hey, Bob, I just want to let you know, I'm uh, I'm more than happy to take any section that's assigned to me and, and um, we'll lean in on it. So I, I'm a little bit busy right now. So just making sure I'm coordinating dates is is kind of the big thing, but um, I'm absolutely here to do a, a review if, as needed. Okay, thank you. Well, I'm willing to take on uh, public safety, which is a big one. Yeah, I was saying the same, same thing. Um, Andy, do you want to take which public is, safety? Which is, um, in, in, or the question is whether we actually should divide public safety. Because uh, with Cress and police and uh, fire, that's a huge, that's a big area. It's like schools. Yeah. And, uh, well, Andy, do you want to take police? Because I know that's been a concern of yours. Um. Yeah, <laughs> Not, um, I can do. More, I can do more. We can, do, if we end up with a couple of people who are doing public safety, we can just do the division. Let those two people then okay. do the division of the public safety. Well, then I'm I'm willing to do that with with you then. Okay. And then Bernie had volunteered to do. Was it DPW? DPW. Yep. And Kathy has schools. I know, Mandy, you said you... Uh, I, I, I can add something beyond CIP, um, but I'd like Matt to get a choice <laughs> of what he'd prefer to do before I add something on. And Mandy, you wanted revenues too, right? Well, I'll send in a couple of revenue questions. Kathy's going to send in questions. I'll send in questions. I think revenues okay. is sort of like everyone's kind of okay. chipping in. And yeah. Um... Bernie, are you thinking uh, when you say uh, DPW, you're also picking up enterprise funds? Yeah, because that's all that's all tied together. Yep, it is. Okay. So, so we need. So, so Mandy is asking Matt to make a choice if he has <laughs> any preference. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... Bob, would you catch me up to where what's what are the available or or okay? So can... what's available now are um, the things called town manager, uh, which is scheduled for the tenth. Um, then the conservation planning and inspection services, the sort of 
Dave Zomack things, and then the uh, services, the public health, senior center, recreation. I I did services last year, so I would be happy to take that again. Um, okay. Because I have some familiarity with those with those budgets. What what's the date for that, Bob? I'm sorry. Uh, well, right now they're the twenty first. Yep. Yeah. Right, two p.m. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, Mandy, what what else what would you like? I, There's. I was going to say, I'd take the Dave Zomek stuff. I'm most familiar with that because okay. of my service on CRC, but that would leave Alicia, who's not here today, with something on the 10th, which seems wrong. Right. <laughs> so um, I'm happy to take the manager stuff on the 10th. Okay. And I'll ask Alicia if she can do the... Uh... The Dave Zomack. It's the 31st. I'm not looking at my calendar, but is it that one of the, is that a Friday day? Yes. And do you know whether to the Friday time was a difficult time for her? I mean, I'm just noticing she's not here today. She said, I mean, early on, we asked if people could do that day, the, that time on Fridays and no one said they couldn't, so. Okay, so it's just, all right. That was like, you know, several meetings ago. No, no, I, 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 I know that, you know, you know, Bob, I'm not, I know we we, we struggled to find the second date um, and Thursdays weren't good, so we're here. I just, well, we if can- can't, if, if Alicia can't do it, I'll, I'll also, I can do the conservation planning and inspection services. Yeah, and and there's enough space. I'm I'm a volunteer type of human being, but if there's, I'm a, also willing to do the thirty first. There's enough space between the two of them for me yeah. between okay. the fourteenth and the thirty first. So, so I'm the backup if she can't do it. Yeah. Okay. And I guess Mandy said she would do it too. If but then it leaves the tenth. No, I'll, I'll do the 10th. I, I will tell you, I'm going to have questions for all the departments. So I'll, <laughs> I'll be sending things in since it's my first real time on finance. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to read the whole budget and all, but no, I, I can certainly be back up too on, on the Zomex stuff because of my familiarity with it through CRC. Okay. Well, we'll cross that bridge. Yeah. Okay, so does anybody have any other? I think we've got, we've covered everything on that, haven't we? I think so. Yep. Okay, good. Um, all right, Is, anyone else have any other questions or comments? So I, I have a question of, about something that's not here at all. We postponed because we, Changed the meeting time and they couldn't make it. The um, the uh, accounting, auditor. the auditor report. That's so true. so Athena, I don't I don't know what the timetable is on that. If that can just get moved to June, but that's clear. That's clearly where we're going with with what's happening in May. Um, so it was a question on that, um, mm -hmm. not not a uh, anything else. Um, Holly can. Can you chime in on this? I think we've already scheduled with them to meet with the committee on the 7th of, um, of, of May. Of May. So that's, yes. does May also has that meeting in it? Yes, yeah, so I have scheduled the auditors for May 7th um, meeting. I mean, if if you folks want to move it, we can certainly, I can try to reschedule with them again. I guess that's your choice, but they are already scheduled. Okay, if if they're on the seventh, I think we're going to be fine, Holly, because we can the revenue kinds of questions flow into overall budget questions as well, you know. So we can focus on capital, and then we can figure whether the auditor wants to be first or se or second on the agenda. Okay, so that was my question of where where that is. <laughs> that was my question. Yeah, I, I I had I had scheduled it for the seventh. Okay, that's the only thing. Time. It will be my preference would be to schedule them first simply so they're not 
just sitting around waiting while we're having other discussions. Um, I, it, I think that would be more efficient for them and their time if you can accommodate that. Yeah, I, I think I, I agree with that. I think Thank we should you. do them first, get get it out of the way. And then we can focus on the other discussions. Okay. I think that's great. All right. Well, then I, uh, I'm i looking for a, a motion to adjourn. I, I, I make a motion that we adjourn. I'll second. All right. Let me uh, go through the list. Uh, I, I'm an I. Mandy Jo? Or, I. No, sir. Uh, Kathy? Yes. Matt? Support. <laughs> Andy? <laughs> Hi, uh, Bernie. I, I'm disappointed that we have to end this meeting, but I will support. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, thanks very much. Uh, hopefully, this you know didn't take too much time, and uh, uh, we can start. Well, it sounds like everybody's already started to look at the budget. I've been on the road, so I haven't had a chance to look at it myself, but I will. So thanks everyone and uh, meetings adjourned. Uh, I have about 11.010 or 11.10. Thanks very uh, much. Uh, good Great. discussion. Thank you, Will. Yes, very good. <laughs>